Welcome back, Seth Bling here. Today I wanted to share with you a major breakthrough in instant wire technology. Um, I've got in front of me uh, instant repeaters, instant NOT gates, and instant NOR gate. Um, all of these have a single input line and a single output line, well except for the, the instant NOR gate which has two input lines and one output line. Um, they all act instantaneously on both the uh, the positive and negative edges. So whenever you turn on, turn it on and whenever you turn it off, it'll instantaneously transmit the signal. Let me just show you for what I mean. Um, so here I have a lever and it's going through a series of instant repeaters and it just goes all the way around and, um, and, and goes around to here. Um, I have a chasm separating, separating the left side and the right side. Uh, this lever goes to a note block here, and, it, and the inverted signal goes to a note block here. Similarly, on this side, signal goes to a note block and inverted a no, inverted note block. So, when I flick the switch, you can see it, it's uh, it hits the note block um, simultaneously on each side of the chasm. If you want to see from this angle, uh, d don't pay too much attention to the update glitch, uh, uh, glitchy looking updates because that's just uh, the graphics not updating, but. As you can see, both both edges of the signal are being transmitted instantaneously. Uh, works perfectly. So, next I, over here, I have a bunch of uh, not gates or inverters. Um, so this lever is hooked up. Uh, as you see, this inverts this, the, the signal. So we have this is off, and then this this line's on, and this one's off, on, etc. So it keeps going around, uh, inverting the signal, and. Um, so I, uh, I have the sa same sort of setup with the note blocks, except I have a one tick delay uh, on the non-inverted signal so that it takes one tick for non-inverted and one tick for inverted. Um, you'll notice, same thing on this side. So what I expect is when, when I hit the non-inverted uh, note block here, I'm going to get the inverted note block here because this, this one's the opposite of this one. I have 13 not gates, so the output should be the opposite of the input. Um, and then similarly, when I when I get the inverted output from this side, I should get the non-inverted output from this side, and so that's exactly what we see. See the diagonals going off. So works perfectly. Um, the only difference between a repeater and a not gate is actually these doors, but I'll get to that later. Uh, so that is the NOT gate, and then here we come to uh, kind of the most important thing. This is the NOR gate. There's actually only one NOR gate in here. Um, all of these uh, on the left side are just repeaters, um, and then same on the right side, repeaters going the other way, but, but these are the two input lines, this one and this one, and right here is the NOR gate. Uh, it's an instant NOR gate. Uh, you can see it has the doors because it acts like a NOT, and it just combines the two signals in the doors. Uh, that's the OR. So first OR is computed and then NOT. So that's that's what NOR is. Um, so yeah, input signal, input signal, output signal. So and then uh, again we have the chasm and the note blocks. Um, this time there's a I had to use a repeater to get the signal all the way over here. So there's a two tick delay between each lever and each of the note blocks uh, because the torch counts as a tick. And then same thing on this side, there's a two tick delay between the output here and each of the note blocks. And so since this side computes uh, the OR of the two switches, um, and this, this is NOR, we'll expect again the inverted, uh, inverted signal, so we expect the diagonals to match up. And so let me show you from this angle. Uh, when I hit this one, the uh, A or B is true, so it turns on this one and it turns off this one. You saw it was simultaneous. Same thing happens on the other edge. Uh, this one also works. Okay, and then if this one is on and I start flicking this switch, it's not going to do anything. Um, similarly, if, if I turn this one on and I start flicking this switch, not going to do anything. So they're both on right now. I'm turning this one off. This one off. So this is a NOR gate. This is really important uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, because uh, with with a NOR gate, uh, you can actually compute any 
um, any logical formula. So this is essentially all you need to build a processor. Well, you also need memory, but um, but 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 this this will do all all the logic. So uh, it's kind of a really important breakthrough for Instant Wire because it'll allow instant computers to be built without using the trick that Tavi Rider showed, where you have uh, two two parallel lines and they have um, sort of opposite values, and uh, this makes it much simpler, except for of course the size of the uh, the repeaters and the, and the and the not gate. Um, so let me dig into how this works. There's uh, it took me a lot of trial and error and experimentation to figure out how the physics of the games work game worked out. Um, Special thanks to Tavi Ryder, who, who did a lot of the, the necessary research. Uh, yeah, so let me dig in. So first of all, something you need to know is that when a piston is pulling a block, it'll update instantly, and that's what causes the instant effect. So you see that this block is powered by the torch underneath, and that powers this line here. So, uh, and then this, this, uh, this lever's on. So when I turn off the lever, the two signals turn off simultaneously because it, it, it instantly tra transfers a signal across this uh, this bridge here. So you can see the, the, the two note blocks are in complete unison. So that's how instant wire works, uh, as shown by Tavi Rider. And, uh, but there's kind of a problem with, with that in that it only, it only works one way. It only works when you're retracting the piston. So here I have a similar setup where a uh, there we have power going to this note or into this block here, which powers this line. I have an inverter here um, because the switch is off. So when I turn the switch on, there will be a one tick delay till it powers the note block, and then similarly there will be a one tick delay because of this inverter. Well, if it, if it was instantaneous, there would be a one tick delay, but it turns out there's actually more than one tick delay, and you can see that the note the little note symbol coming from the note blocks is not coming up simultaneously. Then similarly, um, here we would expect, uh, if it was instantaneous, as soon as I flick the lever, that the power would go into the block, and that would power this one at the same time that this got powered, but it's not. The two notes come up at different times. So that's the difficulty. Um, luckily, uh, due to a new, a brand new tool brought to us by Etho, uh, and developed by several other people, um, we're able to, to sort of work around this, this problem where only a retracting piston will, um, will, will cause an instant effect. Uh, of course, it, it's a problem because you can't have a, a, a powered signal or an unpowered signal going to powered uh, retract a piston. That's why instant wire was only uh, one edge when the, uh, it only worked when you were depowering a line, not when you were powering a line. But here's a way of getting around that, and that's using the block update detector. And this is a special kind of block update detector. It's a toggle block update detector. So you see when I put a block next to this piston, it'll toggle its, its value, uh, which is, oh, whoops, kind of broke it. Um, It'll toggle its value, which it turns out is extremely useful because uh, when I flick this switch and turn it, turn this redstone on or off, it'll also cause an update. So the piston will stay uh, synchronized with this lever. So this is this is what allowed me to make the instant repeater and not gate, um, and. The reason why is because I'm able to build a contraption like this, where I have uh, a block update detector on both sides, and it's triggered by the same redstone. So when I flick the switch, it sort of toggles which one is is out and which one is in. And so when when the power turns on and when the power turns off, I have a retracting piston now, which means I can take advantage of the instantaneous effect that retracting pistons uh, make. So let me show you the way in which I do that. Um, I have two instant effects here, and both happen when the piston retracts. So the first one here uh, is what I 
is what has been used in uh, Instant Liar uh, previously, and that is um, when when the when the line gets depowered, it will retract the piston and instantaneously uh, depower this this line. Um, and then, but this is another one uh, I haven't seen before, but I'm sure other people have used. Uh, this one will, uh, when the piston retracts, uh, instantly power the line. But once, as soon as the block retracts, the the it just starts retracting. Um, the line will go active on top of the block here, and uh, that that's instantaneous. So. So now I have um, an instantaneous effect which will turn on power, this one, and an instantaneous effect which will turn off power. And I combine the two. Um, this is the whole repeater. I combine the two to create the, uh, the instant repeater effect. Uh, there's one trick you have to add, though. So the problem that you run into initially is that uh, you're just fine when you go from an unpowered state to a powered state because this piston will retract and that'll turn on this power and that'll happen instantly. Um, after a, a tick or two, uh, this block will be over this torch and that'll power the line also, but it'll already be powered from over here. And so, so that's what happens. But the problem is that the other, the other, going the other way isn't quite so uh, instantaneous. Um, when we flick the switch again, that'll, that'll toggle both of these, which will retract this, and that'll instantly depower the line from this side, but the line won't get depowered from this side until the piston finishes pushing the block into place, which is going to be another tick or two. So that's not instantaneous. The way I took care of that was I added a piston over here, which um, which will block off the signal from this side, um, and so that only happens though if this side is uh, is unpowered, or sorry, uh, if the piston is retracted. So you'll notice um, going this way, this piston is retracted, which means we still get the instantaneous effect when this piston retracts, but then. After we get that instantaneous effect, we rely on the signal from this one over here. So this piston retracted, we got the power instantaneously, but now we maintain the power with uh, from from this block. It's not coming from over here anymore. So now when we when we retract this piston, we don't have to worry about this stuff being powered over here because it's blocked off by by this block over here. And so that's what causes the instantaneous effect. Um, so to create a NOT gate, we do something really similar. Um, and in fact, basically all we have to do is switch the two uh, the, the two two uh, uh, pistons here. So this one's extended, this one's retracted. Now, when the input input line toggles, it'll still toggle the output. And uh, I mean, these these pistons actually didn't depend on the powered state of the of the input. They just cared when the input toggled. So this this will create the not not effect, but there's there's one problem, and that's that when for some reason in this configuration, when uh, when the line gets powered, it doesn't trigger this piston. So let me show you. It does happen when it gets depowered. So uh, this turns out to be problematic. Um, so what what you can do a really simple solution to solve that is just um, add in a redstone there and add in a couple doors here now when this gets powered or unpowered it will flip both of these doors and sorry I have to flip these again there we go so now when this gets powered it'll flip or, or powered or unpowered it'll toggle the doors which will cause an update on these pistons, and that's where we get the instant knock gate from. Um, one other important thing that I discovered is that uh, these uh, these repeaters up here that are part of the block active detector are. It's really important that they're set to a duration of four. Well, I haven't actually tested with three or two, but with one, I got um, a lot of glitches because. Um, 
Here, I can show you. Uh, when you have a powered line and it gets powered again, it does weird things with pistons. So that doesn't cause an error, but if you do this, sorry, uh, way around. Oh, it's not happening. Um, I'm not sure what I what I have to do to make it happen, but it was definitely causing me pains before. Um, well, disregard that. Um, but uh, the, 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 the delay of four is definitely helpful. And um, yeah, so uh, the, the doors also help uh, making sure that if you get uh, if you get the, the multiple pulses like that, the doors won't won't toggle. But yeah, obviously, since I failed at showing you what I'm talking about, that's not a very good example. Rest assured, it does happen, and the delay of four is important. So um, I'm looking forward to see what people are going to make with this stuff. Uh, you have to be very precise when you're building something like this. You might be tempted to think, oh, I, I got the principles from the video, and uh, I can just build it myself. Um, and maybe that's true, but I definitely went through a lot of pain to try and get, get this circuit just right. So um, to that end, I have included a link to a world uh, in the video description where you can download uh, uh, sort of a set of pretty much everything I've shown here in this video. So you'll be able to play around with it and kind of copy it and, and see if you can modify it. I really think that there's probably a smaller solution for this. I just wanted to get something that worked in it, um, so I, I, yeah, I, I'm looking forward to seeing somebody come up with a smaller solution. Oh, and that's about it. Thanks for watching.